We are here with Danita and her husband Terry, and uh, this memorial up here is for my father. For your father, yes. Donald Carell. Uh -huh. What well, can you tell me about him? He was a pretty neat guy. <laughs> I was named after him. His okay. name was Donald. Uh, we found out that he had two Purple Hearts instead of one, which we never knew. We, we got one Purple Heart, and that he was over in the Philippines, and he was a communicator. He would climb towers and put up communication for the other lines of service. And I saw you taking pictures down there, and Wayne that Gillen. was... Of Wayne Gillum, he was my cousin, and uh, he was in the, the Navy, and then civil service out here at Grissom. He was and actually in service 40 years. Yeah, for 40 years he was in service. And, uh, we just lost him last, last fall, last December. So what do you think about this opportunity to I think it's honor, yes. honor the servicemen? I think pretty it is, neat. yeah. I think there's, I don't know, maybe 50 of them out here along, yes. okay. 50 of these and then they're putting more on the courthouse. And then the poppies is for World War oh. I. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>this a surprise for you? Yes, it was. Uh, the church that I'm blessed to pastor here in Peru, the Peru Church of the Brethren, uh, got this for me for Pastor Appreciation Month. And I had no idea that they were doing anything like this. And what a blessing. Uh, I was really taken back by it. So you served uh, from 69 to 71? Yes, that's correct. United States Navy. Were you stationed overseas? No. No, I was stationed in the United States in uh, Washington, D.C. All right. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. and uh, what's the significance of this banner? Well, this is my grandfather, William Hand. And he was in the Navy during uh, World War II um, on the WASP aircraft carrier. All right. So what's this mean to you to come out here on the courthouse? Well, square and my grandfather is 95 years old now, and um, it's fun to, to see him honored like this. Um, his daughters purchased the banner for him and um, it's just fun to, fun to see, it, see him being honored. All right. All right. Thank you for your time. So, sure. Thank you. Barb Townsend, who kind of organized these banners, and uh, Barb, how did it come about? Well, about last year, my husband and I was traveling through Pennsylvania, and we went to this little town, and we saw the banners on display on the poles, and we both were awestruck at how amazing and wonderful they look honoring our veterans. And then I came back, and time got away with me, and I forgot about wanting to run with this. Well, my daughter went to Pennsylvania this year in early May, and she saw them in another little town in Pennsylvania. And she got out and took a picture and was also awestruck. And anyway, she came back and told me about it, and I, I thought, oh, man, I want to run with this. Thank you for reminding me, Lena. So once I, she took, reminded me of that, I just started to run with it. And so the first thing I had to do was go 
to Rediscovery Peru board asked them permission to put do these banners on our poles through um, Broadway and Main Street. They gave me permission, which I very much thank them for that. Then I had to um, find a place we'd make the banners. And then so I approached Modern Graphics and Jim Clary and staff at Modern Graphics were amazing. He gave me a man to work with named Shane and Shane helped me with these banners. And um, it just from there on, it just went just amazingly. Just within three days, I sold all 50 banners on the poles. Then I came to a spot, I wanted more banners, poles, but I was told I could not have any more, which I understand why. So what the next approach for me to do was to um, get a hold of Miami County Courthouse Commissioners and ask if I could put banners up here in the courthouse lawn. I talked to Larry West and they were very, very willing to allow me to do that. So um, after that I needed banner holders for the, our courthouse to be displayed on, so I got a hold of Dave Burnell, and Dave Burnell was kind enough to find someone to make the holders for us. It just seemed like it just, after that everything just went just really fast and furry and just did fantastic. The response has been amazing. Um, I, I want to thank Peru Utilities for putting the banners up on the pools on Broadway and Main. They do this on their own time and they did this some of those in the rain and they worked with me wonderfully so I want to thank them for that. I want to thank Hickory Creek at Peru, my boss Brian Leslie. He allowed me to work out of Hickory Creek with people buying banners for their families and friends getting applications through Hickory Creek so I want to thank him for that too. Um, it's just been amazing how wonderful people's respond from bonded from this it just I don't know it just when I saw these in Pennsylvania I knew the beauty of it and, and how important our veterans are um, we should never forget our veterans now the ones serving and past and present we should never forget I knew this was going to be touched with many hearts because it touched our hearts when we saw them in Pennsylvania how could it not um, yeah we should never forget anybody who serves not only them the veterans and our, our armed services but we also should never forget the people law enforcement and firemen I would love to work with uh, Rediscover Peru and make a week or a month where I can put firemen and police them up to our community. I don't know if that's possible, but that's what I'm hoping for. So, I mean, you got about 65? Yes, about 65 banners, on, yes. On the lamppost, on yes, about, Broadway, yes. and some on Main, and then on the Courthouse Square. And yes. how long will they be up? Well, I was given from November 1st to November 11th. I'm hoping next year when I go to Rediscover Board again that they allow me some more time. I do want to say this, too, that... I needed to work under a nonprofit organization to do this, and so I went to VFW, and the VFW president was so wonderful about letting me work underneath their um, nonprofit organization. So I want to thank VFW, but most of all, I want to thank our veterans for serving our country and the ones now serving our country. They're the heroes, and it's all about them, only about them. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.